Oop. Staves, you learn a lot more spells, you learn how to use more MP and so on and so forth, which as a mage is good. And then sex appeal. Um, <laughs> this is actually really interesting. There are a lot of sex-based spells in this. Not actually having sex, of course, but, you know, sexually appealing things. What's nice is at the higher levels of this, you can go into a battle, enemy, male enemies will look at her and fall in love. They'll be charmed and will attack their comrades. So I recommend leveling those up as well. But for now, let's put... Um, let's see here. Hold on a sec. I have an idea. There we are. Yeah, I have a um, thing up so I can actually see what I want. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. And put wands next to me. <laughs> this would give us one skill in whip, one skill in staves, and have one point in go. Attack power increased by five when she uses a whip. Skill, staff skills increase. Accelerate increases your speed. This is how I'm going to level up Jessica. I'm going to level up her whip and her staffs. I'm also prob probably going to level up her sex appeal. Because, you know, I've, I like a lot of stuff you get in there. It sounds dirty. But, <laughs> some of the stuff you get in there are actually really nice. But, uh, oh god, you guys again. It gets faster. <coughs> you can do this up to two or three times, by the way. Make your party faster. Anyway, as I was saying, um, <coughs> I'm going to increase her whip. That's a definite. Uh, she gets a attack called Twin Dragon Lash, which will be really powerful, basically. Um. I'll also increase her stats so I get more spells and stat stuff. <coughs> um, <coughs> I'll also probably increase sex appeal. Once those three, or once one of those are mastered, I'll move on to knives as well. <coughs> oh god. But for the most part, it's going to be whip, stabs, and sex appeal. Let's use this mild cheese, see what it looks like. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't do the effect of a more second, because that does a lot of healing. Is this point in the game it does? So, Masamune won't be able to attack until next turn. Maybe I should kill those dogs. Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna kill those dogs. They're getting annoying. Get those lump mages to use up all their MP. And then probably defend until I'm no longer hallucinating. <laughs> and of course, the first person that gets out of Dazzle gets constricted as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Now there is a um, maximum amount of creatures that can be on the field at one time. I think it's like somewhere in the neighborhood of eight or nine. Yeah, it's a lot. <coughs> but um, excuse me. Uh, I don't think early in this er, this early in the game those that amount of creatures will pop up. So we should be fine. Excuse me. I 
I'm actually not using magic to get rid of these guys. Come on, Jessica. Oh, never mind, Yangus. 196, not bad. Not as good as that 342 we got earlier. Anyway, down that way is a chest, but it's locked and you need a different key for it, so. <coughs> we are now at. Um, Mela Abbey. Here's the priest. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's get div uh, have divination done. 1680. 401, 658. So it'll be youngest Jessica Masamune. <coughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, there isn't a shop here. And I don't believe there's a uh, place I can rest here. I'm actually going to do the quest required here soon, and after that, I'm going to stop. Hello? Yeah, this is the goddess. The statue. Sure, who that is. I think I have an idea. Who, I think I have an idea of who that is. <coughs> but that's still not important, so I won't mention it. It's actually a nice Abbey. There's the door. The mini metal. Let's go over here. <coughs> ah, there's the barrels. There's a uh, stable over there on the other side of the little lit river thing. Uh, holy water. Hmm. <coughs> For some reason, I was expecting something else. Oh well. Hey, let's go to the town where we actually can get stuff. Oh. Done. <coughs> I love playing with the alchemy pot. Again, later on, much, much, much later on, you're able to create something that will... that will be used as a sort of, um... That will make the alchemy pot be used right when you make it. Start making the stuff. So you put it in, and then it'll be done. So the moonwalk bulbs don't work. I thought that would have worked. Let's try it. And do it. I think I know what I need. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> I'll put that other mild cheese in there. Now, I think I know what's going to make. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. It's been a while. <coughs> you actually do need a uh, strong medicine for something in the future. 
So I'm going to try not to use the one I already have. That way I don't have to run circles for an hour again. It does take an hour. It takes like, you know, <coughs> five minutes, I think. I don't have a timer. I should try that out. <coughs> Sometime. Ah, there's a the Dragon. You want to kill that first. I don't care what, what it comes with. Kill the Jargon first. <laughs> the Jargon is very strong physically. It also has a fire breath, which is annoying. Oh, great, everyone's losing. Anyway, um, <coughs> it also can throw up a cloud of sand, which will blind your characters. Much like it, this just did to me. So you want to kill that Jargon as soon as physically possible. Youngest. Good boy. <coughs> anyway, um, to my right is forest. If you go that way, somewhere along that path would be a chest that has a bunny tail in it. I plan to head that way later. Off screen, of course. Now, I believe these guys can poison you, so be on your guard. The giant moths only appear at night, if memory serves. It's possible I'm wrong. In all likelihood, I am. <coughs> it's been ages since I played this game. I'm surprised I remember as much as I do about it. So. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Excuse me. I apologize for the coughing. Ah, oh, cold air. I'm sorry, the AZ turned on. It's like insanely hot outside. In. Sleep. HP. MP. Alright, let's look around first. Anyway, um, bookshelves. I forgot to mention this. They will now have alchemy recipes. Twenty four. <coughs> um, some bookshelves will have alchemy recipes. Some of the bookshelves we've already been to will now have alchemy recipes in them as well. So you'll want to check those out too. <coughs> I'm going to be doing that from time to time. But if it's a book that doesn't have anything useful in it, I'll just hold triangle and skip through it. Well, not hold triangle, you know, just skip through it. Here's the church. Hello. He's talking about um, <coughs> the items we made. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The strong medicine that we made. We can sell that for a decent penny now. But if we continually sell them the price for them will start to decrease. <coughs> so, sell them from time to time. <coughs> if you need a little extra cash, you know. There we go. Yes. Let's head in here. It's a uh, pub. Or a tavern, or whatever you want to call it. Bar. <coughs> 